Hey everyone, welcome back to today's tutorial. I hope you guys are doing great. And today's topic is actually about how to send a message on Discord, which is quite funny. Well, it's not really funny. There's a lot more going on in here other than just sending a text message. So if you are a new user to Discord, then I have made this short tutorial for you guys to get familiar with what each button does. But before I move on, if you are a new user, then I have started making tutorials, tips and tricks on Discord. So if you're someone, you know, who use Discord a lot or if you're new to Discord, then I want you to subscribe down below and click on the bell icon so you never miss my upcoming videos. And trust me, I'm coming with some really great tutorials up in the future, so you really don't want to miss that. Also, I have finally made this new server for my channel where you guys can join and, you know, make new friends, hang out, get up to date with what's upcoming in my upcoming tutorials, in my upcoming videos, get help directly. I have also started making Discord Nitro giveaways. There's one currently going on which will end in a very, very long time. So that's most likely for you guys to, you know, get some chance to join in and participate in the giveaway. So make sure you join. I have linked it in the description below. And yeah, let's move on. So let's get into today's topic. So in order to send a message on Discord, whether you are in a direct message or in a server, there is this section below called the chat bar, or at least that's what Discord calls it. And the chat bar is basically the area where, you know, you can send anything you want within Discord. So, um, you know, you can send a message here, you can send your images or emojis, whatever you want to send. So let's start with the attachment section. Now the attachment section is the section where you can send images, videos, documents, or some other files, whatever you basically want to send to your friend or in the server. and to send that, you basically have to click on this plus icon. So when you click on the plus icon, you get this option which says upload a file and then you have to click on it and you choose whatever you want to send and that will be all. So that's one way to send the attachment. The second way is you can directly double click on this icon and your folder will probably pop up and from there you can choose. And the third option, which is also a way to send an attachment, and it is pretty easy, you can basically drag and drop the file or image or video, whatever you're sending on Discord directly. So, you know, you just drag and drop it like this, and then you're going to see this option. Now you can upload it, just, you know, click on upload and that's all and you can send as many images and videos you want you don't really have to worry about that so this is basically the attachment section you know where you can send videos images and some other files that's how you send it the next thing we need to talk about is the message box now this is the message box the area where you send message to someone um i don't really sure <laughs> what to say about this it's pretty simple um yeah but one thing to know that you see this sticker out here which is waving so you can send this to your friend before sending a text message however if you send a text message first then you will no longer see this sticker um yeah that's that's all you need to know about the message box otherwise i don't know who doesn't know how to send a message normally so let's move on the next thing to talk about is the gift section and the gift section is basically this gift icon which you can see here and it's for gifting someone a nitro so once you fill in your payment method you can gift someone a nitro moving on we're going to talk about the gif or gif or whatever you guys want to call it i'm go i'm just going to say a gif or gif maybe so gif section is basically a section where you know you can send a gif so there is a search bar here you can search directly Let's say you want to send a uh, happy GIF, then you can send happy and yeah, there's quite a lot of options you can choose from. So let's say you want to send this and you can send a GIF here. So this is the GIF sections. There are some 
a lot of options you can choose from upcoming to the next one is the stickers section which we are really not going to talk much about because it has to do with nitro so if you're having a nitro and you're within some servers like these ones then you can use these stickers you know within other servers and within the dms so you need a nitro subscription for this after that we're having the emoji section which is basically discord has its own emoji and you know you can normally send a default emojis which are these ones from discord itself for free but if you want to use the emojis within the servers that each server has then you need to have a discord nitro as well in order to use it everywhere however you can use these emojis in that specific server for free so for example if you move into the homework i'm going to go into you know, game section actually i don't want to give you guys some pressure showing you guys the homework so um this is for example the gameplay section and the talking area for the server so if you move in here and you go to the stickers now this server has its own specific emojis and you can use these emojis for free just within these servers so for example let's say um I'm going to send this emoji out here um let's say this one so this emoji can be sent here for free however if you go to um, a different server or you know a direct message and you try to send that same emoji you actually are not going to be able to send and you're going to receive this message that says you need a discord nitro so that's all you need to know you can use these default emojis i think that's enough to show your expressions <laughs> as a new user now let's talk about the character limits so there is a character limit that you can send within discord now what is character limit so character limit is when you're sending a message to someone or within a server but you really cannot send more than 2000 characters so what do i mean by this so to show you guys an example i have copied a random paragraph out here and let's say you are writing a very long story to your friend and it's pretty long that you're writing for very long until you see this kind of message at the bottom right corner now what does this mean this basically means you have reached a total of 2000 characters and you really can't send more than that and when you press enter, you're going to get this pop-up that says your message is too long and you have reached 2000 character limits. Now, if you want to send more than 2000 limits, you will need to have a Discord Nitro. But there are several ways you can bypass this if you don't want to buy a Discord Nitro. Uh, the first way is Discord giving the option by itself. You can upload it as a file. Now, when you're uploading it as a file, it's going to transform itself into a text file and you can upload it then it's going to show up in this form and then your friend can read by scrolling all the way to the right like this or your friend can download it as a message.txt now another way you can bypass this is by splitting your messages into two so let's say you're writing your first half story you can send that and then you can continue writing your second half story and so on so, you know, that's another way you can bypass a Discord Nitro function if you don't want to buy it. But, however, if you want to send all of these long stories in one message, then you need to have a Discord Nitro. So, then that is where Discord Nitro comes in. So, that's all for today. You have learned everything about the chat bar. And that's how you send a Discord message. It's more than just sending a text. So, I'm pretty sure... As a new user this was really helpful for you and yeah if you have enjoyed the video or learned something then make sure you leave a like below which will help me understand that this is really helpful for you guys so i'm going to keep up with making upcoming videos as well don't forget to join my new discord server and there is a nitro going on there so don't forget to join that if you want to get a chance to win a nitro and yeah that's all for today Peace out. See you guys on the upcoming tutorials. Goodbye.